All right, welcome to the lunchtime video, the most consistent video. Last video was an after work video, and I said I was going to take like a five minute break and come back because my brain was fried, but I did not realize how fried my brain was, so I ended up never, never coming back. Um, hopefully, I uploaded it. I don't think I did actually, now that I think of it. So I'm going to start the video by verifying that the video has been uploaded from the last video. Okay, so here's the most recent upload. Ah, uh, sure enough, so it's it looks like it's for RSVP signaling. So I am missing um, the one I did for LDP signaling. Yep, I already did one video. This will be my second video on the topic. Okay, so let's upload the first video I did. All right, so that takes a bit to upload. Let's go to the lab and see uh, where I left off last time. So where I left off last time was trying to convert my LSP to be signaled using LDP instead of RSVP. Complete disaster. I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, well, I mean, I do know what's going on, and I'll, I'll show you. So what's going on is if I do MPLS LSP extensive, we've got a originate call, and then we've got a bad source address, and it just keeps um, alternating between the two. So it doesn't know where it's going from. So now that I'm fresh, um, so, so where I would like it to go from is LO0. Um, and I don't need to do IPv6 tunneling. See, I thought I thought it would work with uh, IPv6 tunneling because usually I just have it um, go from because because the last topic was um, before RSVP was IPv6 tunneling. So usually I have it form a BGP neighborship over the IPv6 over the IPv4, and then I have uh, it send the IPv6 routes. So when I finished that video series, I had, uh, oh, okay. And it looks like I actually do have that right now. So uh, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. That's such a good thing. I wonder if my
No, okay, it is still down. Um, so I'm thinking what would happen if I specify a from. So let's see here, specify a from, so uh, oops, okay, so now we've got a from, so let's see what it complains about now. Hopefully it's not complaining about an invalid. Okay. Aha, so it's still trying to use RSVP for the signaling protocol. We caught it red handed. Um, so why it's trying to do that, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just going to try that just because I know it's not the problem, but I'm just going to do it to absolve my curiosity and, and prove it to myself that it is not the problem. The problem is that it's still trying to use um, RSVP instead of LDP. So tunneling LDP over RSVP is obviously not going to fix the problem because there's, there's no road, so sending a car <laughs> where there's no road is not going to fix any problems at all. OK. So let's try to figure out how to set up a LSP using LDP signaling.
Okay, so here's an example of using RSVP. So I don't understand a situation. Ah, so here's a situation where there is also LDP. I think I just need to learn more about what LDP. Okay, so networking LDP versus RSVP. Easy provisioning, yeah, right. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's just, it's so easy to configure that the only way you configure it, oh my God, somebody dropped something outside. Well, that's what these are for. I'm kind of tempted to look out the window. <laughs> the last time something tragic happened outside my window, there were blood curling screams. Still hear those with these on. That was a while ago now though. Okay, everything out of sight, out of mind, and out of ears as well. So let's see here, we've got, uh, yep, we've got LDP. Uh, so now, oh, we still got this explicit null. I don't think that's gonna be necessary, so I'll get rid of it. Okay, so now we're going to need something else. Uh, yeah, so the other thing we're gonna need is to tear down this label switch path. And the reason we're doing that is to test the hypothesis or conjecture, whatever it is that, um, or to, to answer the question of does LDP automatically set up an LSP without you having to manually configure one and as such when you manually configure an LSP using MPLS label switch path is that assumed that you are using RSVP in that case because you are manually configuring it. Okay so now I don't have an LSP so obviously that is not that, that is not correct to, to say. The statement that LD, well, the statement that it said freaking right here. Oh. That could be it. Let me check.
Ah. You know what? I, I wonder if it's bad source address because there's two addresses on uh, interface loopback zero. But let's just specify the from. Yeah, I wonder if it's because there's two and it's using this one. Like, I wonder if I, instead of the two statement, I did it to here. I did, if I did that to the IPv6 address, I wonder if that would change things. I'm going to try that. Okay, so it has to be IPv4. Okay, so I wonder if it's having trouble choosing between the IPv4 and the IPv6. So I'm going to explicitly set the IPv4 again and see what happens. Ah, so now it says RSVP is disabled. Oh. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is the problem. Let me try this. So,
Yeah, I don't think it updated quite yet. Okay, so they're numbered. So we've got one through 14 there. I'm looking for uh, 15. Ah, so we've got a 15 and a 16 now. So we can see we got the same problem. So that was not the solution, enabling traffic engineering on OSPF. Okay, so we got 17 and 18. Let's see what 19 and 20 look like. Oops, and my ears are ringing right now for some reason. Hopefully this is not forever. Ah, perfect, okay. Okay, so LDP interface all is good. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything seems fine. It's just not working. Can I enable traffic engineering under LDP? No.
Okay, so anytime you see ERO, RRO, T spec, those are legal requests, those are RSVP messages. So this looks like a pretty good resource. I might um, I might be uh, reading that out loud. Ah, here we go. So this is what I want. I want an LDP signaled RS LSP, but right now I'm only able to do a RSVP signaled LSP. So let's click this link here and hopefully see where I went wrong. Perfect. So example, configuring LDP labeled LSPs. I'm going to include that in the notes for the second video. So before you begin, you've got to configure the network interfaces, check, configure an IGP across your network, check, configure, so the LDP configuration is added to the existing IGP configuration and included in the MPLS configuration. Configure a network to use LDP for LSP establishment by enabling MPLS on all transit interfaces in the MPLS network. Yeah, like I, I'm pretty sure I did that. So to configure LDP signaled LSPs, you must enable the MPLS family on all transit interfaces in the MPLS network and include the transit interfaces under the protocols of PLS and protocols LDP hierarchy, hierarchy levels. Uh, I'd like to, sorry, I have a standing desk and I like to, um, kind of pinch my foot on it for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, every once in a while I'll pinch it too hard. That's what just happened. I, I'm not hurt or anything, it's just, it's a, it's a shop. To configure, okay, so I already read that. In this example, you enable the MPLS family and create an LDP instance on all the transit interfaces. Additionally, you enable the MPLS process on all the transit interfaces in the MPLS network. In this example, you configure a simple network. Okay, so, yep, we did all that. I think, unless this is missing. Let's try to find the, the actual configuration of the LSP. There is no configuration of the LSP. What the heck? I mean, I thought it said that it was an LSP. So why is there not a MPLS LSP configuration statement? Am I just completely confused? I don't want to enable LDP instances. I want to enable um, an LDP LSP.
they did not do a good job of telling me how to configure an actual LDP LSP. They're very clear about how to configure an RSVP LSP, but LDP LSPs, um, they're not even giving any configurations, any any uh, clue as to how to verify them, not not of just configuring them. What if I try this? Okay, it looks like it didn't clear it at all. It said it would, but it's lied. Okay, now this RRO here, this is implying that it is RSVP. So it's pretty clear that it's impossible to have an MPLS LSP without having RSVP.
Um, so I don't understand a few things. Uh, the first thing I don't understand is, um, so you can see it, very clearly I tried just enabling MPLS on loopback interfaces on all the devices. So I didn't think that would work, but I just wanted to try it. But one thing I haven't gotten yet that I've been looking for is just a clear, simple explanation of what it takes to configure an LDP signaled LSP. So we can see here it says minimum LDP configuration, but it does not say the minimum required configuration for an LSP if you are using LDP and not RSVP. That is missing. I have not found that yet. Now we have an example here, which is configuring LDP enabled LSPs. Right, so here it looks like they're just enabling LDP, but they're not telling you how to enable a, 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 an LSP. They're just telling you how to configure an LDP, but they're not telling you how to configure or verify an LSP. I mean, you can see there are no verification steps given at all. This section actually ends uh, right here. So it says results, and then there's there's nothing blank. And then if I move down, uh, so if I click here, this is the beginning of this next section. So this section ends before it either tells you how to configure the LSP portion or how to verify it. It, it tells you neither of those things. All it tells you in this section is how to configure LDP. It doesn't go the next step and tell you how to configure the LSP as well. So, and you, you can even see this is actually, this title is not labeled correctly because it says configuring LDP signal LSPs. And then down here it says, this example shows how to create and configure LDP instances. It doesn't say anything about the LSPs. And in fact, if you go through, you can see there is nothing about configuring the LSPs, just the LDP instances on the routers, but, but not the car. This only tells you how to build the road. It does not tell you how to build the car traveling on the road. Now you can find that very clearly if you're looking at RSVP, but for LDP, the Juniper documentation seems to just not have that.
see now it's meant to automatically establish LACP LSP adjacency, but we can see it clearly did not do that because if I did show MPLS LSP, I did not have any, neither up or down. So clearly it, it did not, in my case, automatically do that. Yeah, so very clearly, so there should be three LSPs that form. Yeah, one thing that's very clear is you can see they have their loopback addresses. So I would think that's what you would include in the configuration for the actual LSP. But you can see nowhere in the lab are they using the loopback addresses. And that's because they are skipping the uh, portion that I actually needed, which was uh, to configure the LSP, that is where you would include those loopback addresses. So you can see this, this documentation is completely uh, incorrect and it looks like it's missing a, a section as well. You know what, I think I'm gonna downvote this. I haven't downvoted in a while. Um, so Norman's had more than enough time to recoup and relax. Hopefully he's had a good time off because I would like him to fix this the example configuring LDP, no LSPs section only shows how to configure LDP. It says nothing about how to configure and verify an a LSP built over LDP. Okay, so the example configuring LDP signal LSPs section only shows how to configure LDP. It says nothing about how to configure and verify uh, a LSP built over LDP. Uh, configuration 
configuration for uh, LDP signal to LSPs is not given, only configuration for LDP is provided, uh, not configuration for LSPs as well. Okay, so let's review that. That might be the end of the video. In fact, yeah, it is. Um, I started a few minutes after 1 1230. I, I had to finish something up before I could start, but that's totally fine. I can be no meetings today, so I can be flexible. The example configuring LDP signal LSP section only shows how to configure LDP. It says nothing about how to configure and verify a LSP built over LDP. Configuration for LS for LDP signal LSPs is not given. Only configuration for LDP is provided, not configuration for LSPs as well. The results section is completely blank. Okay, I'm surprised it took me that long to, to notice that. Um, I, I, hopefully they can fix that. Um, how to configure. Yeah, it looks like on the internet, you can find directions for setting up an MPLS LSP when you're using RSVP signaling. You can find directions for setting up an LSP, uh, an RF, a, a, a LSP signaled over LDP as long as it's tunneled through RSVP, but you cannot find instructions for configuring an LSP over LDP without RSVP being included in any sort of way. That I have not found yet, and I, I don't know if either the internet just has a massive black hole in something that, that should be pretty simple and, and readily available, or if I'm just not understanding it correctly, and that's just a completely nonsensical statement to say that you can have a LDP signal LSP without tunneling it through RSVP. Ah, here we go. Here's an I had zero article. Um, so I think where I'm gonna leave, because it's, it's definitely a few minutes past right now, is I'm going to hopefully be able to open this. It looks like uh, that's kind of too good to be true. It's crashing my computer. Okay, so here we go. There's three ways that we can create and MPLS LSP, the easy ways to turn on the protocol LDP, simply by simply turning it on, your routers will form neighbor relationships with directly connected routers, just like an IGP does, and automatically start using labels. In fact, when you choose to use LDP, something interesting happens. Okay, so this is gonna be a good one. Unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna need to cut this short and need to get back um, to my day job. Uh, but it looks like the next video, um, I'll be able to cut this at three videos because we're going to get um, some really good explanation about this issue from these two extra resources here, especially this one here, a really plain and simple explanation about the three ways you can configure an LSP. Uh, you can configure it with RSVP signaling, 
with LDP signaling or with LDP signaling tunneled through RSVP signaling. Now on the internet, I have had no problem finding directions for how to configure it with RSVP signaling, no problem for how to configure it with LDP signaling, signaling tunneled through RSVP signaling, but hopefully in the next video, I will be able to find out how to just configure it with LDP signaling and not having any RSVP involved at all. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.